Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Chemistry Land. Today we are going to see about the topic about epoxy resin. That is, what is epoxy resin, how it is prepared, then the properties and applications of epoxy resin. Let us see. The topic is epoxy resin. What is epoxy resin? That is, this are polyethers made by the reaction of epichlorohydrin with diphenol propane that is bisphenol A in presence of alkaline catalyst. So let us see the reaction. The first monomer is bisphenol A. It is otherwise called as diphenol propane. This is the diphenol propane. The another monomer is epichlorohydrin. It is otherwise called as 3 chloro 1 comma 2 epoxy propane that is 1 1 first carbon second third one so 3 chloro 1 comma 2 epoxy propane this group is the epoxy group so the reaction takes place between bisphenol a and epichlorohydrin in presence of sodium hydroxide this is alkaline catalyst we obtain the product epoxy resin let us see how the reaction takes place this is the hydroxy group this bond shifts to this oxygen so this oxygen gets the negative charge this hydrogen gets the positive charge so this is oxidion this is phenoxy group then this bond shifts to, to this oxygen so this oxygen gets the negative charge this carbon gets the positive charge then the bond formation takes place between this oxygen and this carbon this phenoxy group and this carbon and the bond formation takes place between this hydrogen and this oxygen so the product obtained is epoxy resin here the phenoxy group oxygen is bonded with the ch2 group then ch OH CH2 the hydroxy group is obtained so the polymer is obtained here the Cl is removed as Cl minus so the product is epoxy resin so the reaction takes place by this method so the bisphenol reacts with epichlorohydrin in presence of sodium hydroxide we obtain the product that is epoxy resin the polymer is obtained. Then we see about the properties of epoxy resin. That is, what are the properties of epoxy resin? They stick strongly with other materials easily, and they are having the properties such as toughness, and it is very flexible, and they shrink very um, slowly. The shrinking property is very uh, small in epoxy resin, and in cured form. It is very resistant to chemical attack, water and other various solvents. So it is having good electrical insulation properties. So it is having the various types of properties. Then the applications of epoxy resins are, it is used for bonding glasses, ceramic materials and also metallic articles etc. So it is having the resistant, uh, chemical resistant property. So, it is used in um, floorings, industrial floorings because it is having the chemical resistant properties. It is very resistant to chemical attack, water and various solvents. Because of its nature, it is used in industrial floorings and it is used for coatings and linings also. It is used as an insulator. It is used as a very good electrical insulation. It is having very good electrical insulation property. It is used as an insulator. And also the components of a circuit breakers. So many applications therefore epoxy resin. So in this video we have seen about the epoxy resin and the reaction method of reaction mechanism of epoxy resin, the properties and applications of epoxy resin. So if you all like this video please 
support and subscribe our YouTube channel Chemistry Land. Like it, share it and comment it. Watch the full video. Thank you.